That is my number one tip. Oh yeah, here's some bloopers because that gulper feeding did not What is up everybody and welcome to today's video. For those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Zach. This is SC Fishkeeping. I appreciate you stopping by. Please hit that subscribe button down below if you have not already. And as always, a very special thank you to all of my members tuning in. Now, today's video we are talking about one of my absolute favorite fish. A fish that has been a staple of the channel. And in fact, the fish that started it all for me here on uh, YouTube. And that is of course none other than my gulper catfish. And here he is now in his beautiful 40 gallon aquarium. You might notice uh, he loves his little hiding spot back there behind the plants. He's actually like cleared away all the sand just because how much he sits there and does his patented little waddle. But yeah, this is him. And for those of you that don't know, I've had him for a while. I've made a few videos on him. The Gulper Catfish was the very first video I ever made on YouTube. It's a horribly cringy video, but it's what started it. Hello YouTube. I wanted to take this time to make a quick little video on my newest addition to my fish keeping hobby. This is my Gulper Catfish. After the positive reaction to that video, I realized that there was not enough information out there on how to grow a happy, healthy Gulper, and I made a comprehensive care guide. I'll warn you now, I'm about to butcher the scientific name, but Asterophysis batrachis. Batrachis. I don't know. After that, I showed you ways to get your gulper off of live food and onto frozen thawed, which I'm going to give you some more tips on today, but that's what came next. Since that, I've done a couple little videos here and there, but this guy has not been on the channel enough, and today I decided to change that, and we're going to feed this gulper catfish, but there's one very specific thing about this fish that makes him stand out on YouTube. And that is the simple fact that without question, this is the biggest gulper catfish on all of YouTube. I'm serious. Don't believe me? Look it up. I'll wait. A few moments later. I am so confident in the fact that this is the biggest gulper catfish on YouTube that I actually, uh, I did a thing. Check this out. Boom, that's right. I made a shirt that says that I have a very big gulper. In an effort to justify my claim of having the biggest of anything on YouTube, which I realize is a pretty bold claim, this is my gulper catfish after having not eaten for a week. Gulper catfish, when you buy them from your pet store or order them online or whatever, they typically come pretty small and pretty skinny. After eating their meal, their stomachs are so expandable that they will bloat up and swell like a balloon because they are capable of taking down a fish that is the same size as them. Which as I've stated in just about every one of my videos on my gulper is not healthy. You do not have to feed your gulper catfish live food and you certainly don't have to feed them fish that are the same size as them. And I think the size and health of this guy is really a testament to that. And I mean, look at him. He is a freaking tank. He is gigantic. And this is bigger than a lot of the gulper catfish you find on YouTube, even after they've eaten. And like I said, I haven't fed this guy in a week. Without fail, anytime I make a video on my gulper feeding him or just kind of showing him off, whatever, I always get people asking me, Zach, how did you get your gulper off of live foods and strictly onto frozen thawed shrimp or tilapia? I've honestly talked to dozens of people who cannot get theirs off of live until I give them one very simple tip. And it's really pretty simple. What you're going to want to do is take a big piece of frozen thawed tilapia, cut it open here. Get it out, slap it down, cut it in half, cut it in eh, say about a quarter, set that stuff aside, and then you're going to want to do your absolute best to shape this thing like a fish. So kind of carve in that top fin there. Don't cut yourself with a knife, super important. If you're a child, have a parent help you in the shaping of your tilapia. A little SC safety tip. Get that little piece out of there. And boom, look, you know, fish. See it? 
swimming around. You got the real lifelike motion there. Little tail kicking action. Yeah. That'll do. Now we're ready to feed him. And that's it. That is my number one tip for getting your gulper catfish off of live food and onto frozen. Cut it into the shape of a fish. I'm kidding. Obviously, that is not going to do it. The number one tip I have for honestly getting your gulper catfish off of live food and onto frozen is to starve them. I know it sounds cruel, but stay with me here. You don't feed your gulper catfish for anywhere from a week, a week and a half, to even two weeks. Fish can go a long time without eating, a lot longer than you would imagine. Don't feed your gulper catfish anything, and then cut up little pieces of tilapia. Give them something that they have some movement, and then use something like long tweezers that you would use to like feed a snake. That way you can get the food in there, you can kind of present it to your fish, but it's not your hand. The fish are gonna notice this a lot less than they're gonna notice your hand. You can kind of move it around, simulate a little bit of that live movement, and just work with your fish. Present it, put it in there. If they get scared, take it out, come back a few hours later, try it again. Do that over the course of a couple days and your gulper catfish should take a shot at it. There are ways that you can do more, but this has worked for the majority of the people that I have helped. Use long tweezers, put the frozen thawed food in front of them after starving them. And then eventually, you'll end up here. So yeah, of course he didn't make it easy on me uh, trying to use that plant to hide from the camera. Uh, but I guess sometimes when you have a mega huge giant YouTube star, you gotta uh, work with what they give you. And uh, that's what he gave me today. And he's not gonna eat for three or four days. And I wanted to get this video out because it has been too long since I last updated everyone on things going on here with the channel. Which brings me to my next point. And that is that we're gonna get back to doing more consistent and regular uploads. A uh, over the last couple weeks, I've had a lot of things going on. If you followed me on Instagram or my community tab, you know this pool flooded the basement. I'm still working on drying things out, but that is actually going to lead to a video on converting that filter over there to a completely internal system, which I told you I'd make that video a while ago, but now we're going to finally do that. So I got that video coming up. I've spent hundreds of dollars on fish that I haven't even shown you. Some of them have shown up completely dead. I have videos on that. Uh, I got a brand new tank. We're gonna do a full walkthrough from start to finish on how to set up a freshwater tank, like a real simple get yourself into fish keeping type video. So yeah, lots of stuff going on. Last thing, if you did like the big Gulper t-shirt, I kind of hinted at it, but these are available for sale. You can get your own now. I'm using a brand new website. Prices are as cheap as I could make them, and the quality is fantastic. So definitely go check that out. Pick yourself up some merch. Send me some pictures on Instagram so that I can see them, I can share them, and uh, all that fun stuff. Any money or support that you guys spend on this channel, as always, goes back straight to the fish, to feeding them, new projects, stuff like that. And you have my eternal thanks and support and all that stuff. So thank you, thank you, thank you in advance if you do decide to pick up some merch. But other than that, yeah, we're going to, I got to go. I got to make some more videos here because I just promised that we were going to get back to regular uploads. So we're going to do that. Thank you guys for watching this one. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. As always, drop a comment. And remember that this is Zach with SC Fish Keeping, reminding you that every fish is a keeper. Oh yeah, here's some bloopers because that gulper feeding did not go as smoothly as I made it seem. Come on, man. Hey. Oh, yeah, are you gonna...
Stop moving it. Come on. Bud, don't do this to me now. Dude, no, don't do this. Hold on. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you soon. See you soon. Ha, 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 ha.